Hi everyone, Matt here from MGL Tackle. I just want to have a quick look at the Ultegra 14,000 XTD spools and in particular how to keep the drag um, up together and running. Just occasionally on the uh, Shimano reels you might get the drag snatching and I just want to look at a quick maintenance uh, task that you can do to keep these standard spools all up together. So. The, uh, the main thing we need to focus on here is going to be the washers inside this part of the spool. Shimano produce a, a felt washer. It's kind of like a felt stack. Um, and what you can do to those washers is just keep them well lubricated. So I'm just going to quickly show you how to lubricate the felt washers in the standard spools just to make sure you get the best performance out of these Ultegra 14,000 XTDs. So let's go through it quickly then. Um, we've got the clip here that keeps the washers in place inside. And what I'm gonna do is just remove that clip very carefully, uh, just prized it out with a, a screwdriver and then that clip comes out. I've put a black surface here just so it's a bit easier to see all the bits that are taken out. And what I'd suggest is you just stack them up so you don't get confused. Okay, then once that clips out, these will just lift off. So I'm gonna just carefully lift off the first plate. And what you'll see is that we've got these uh, plates and then in between the plates, we've got the, the washers, just one felt washer in between each one. So just lift them out, put them on the side there and I'm just doing it in line so I don't get confused and then uh, the next one comes out just goes into there like that and the next one so there's basically three layers um, of washer and uh, these metal plates okay here's the last one just here so there we are all in a row so you can see which way to put it back together and what you've got then is just the inside of the spool here. Um, and what I'm gonna do is to lubricate it, I'm just gonna use some oil. Now, some of the guys have tried to do it using uh, grease. And if you put grease on these felt washers, what will happen is they become very, very sticky and the drag on these spools just goes uh, crazy. It's just so stiff, even at loose, you can hardly turn them. So what you want is, I'm using Shimano oil here. You could use a really good three-in-one oil. Some guys will go crazy and pour it in, but then you get it all dripping out and just a mess. So what I'm gonna do is just put some of this oil onto a, a cloth, just a paper towel here. I'm just gonna put enough on just to soak that in. And then what I'm gonna do is just wipe everything down with this oil. And what it will help to, uh, to do is keep everything lubricated. Let's have a quick look then. So I'm starting just on the base and giving it a good uh, wipe. I'd recommend you do this um, probably like once a season, depending on how you're getting on with your reels. It might be if you're getting snatching, this is a really good service you can do to avoid uh, the snatching because what's probably happened is these washers have dried out. The felt washers in particular can dry out. And once you screw down onto them and they're being compressed, you do get this build up of heat and then the washers, these felt washers are gonna get hotter and start to deteriorate. They're not really gonna do the great job that they're intended to do, which is kind of like a padding effect in between these metal plates. So by oiling them up on a, on a kind of regular basis, I suppose, or whenever you're feeling that you're getting some snatch on the drag, um, this will really help, okay? So I'm just putting uh, the oil on the felt. I'm not putting loads and loads on, and then do you see I'm starting to build the stack back up and putting oil in between each. I'm just gonna make sure I've got enough oil there. Obviously, we wanna make sure that there's gonna be enough um, real oil going into the sections here. Now, when we come to these brackets, I'm gonna put the oil on both sides, okay? So make sure you've got a good amount on both sides make sure it's round and then that basically you just put in the stack together there's nothing complicated about this you're just making sure you oil both sides of the felt washers let's make sure that i'm doing it where you can see okay so then that's had the oil so i'm just building the stack back up and then again uh on the 
front and the back just keep going. Lots of <clears throat> clean oil and then that goes on. You can see some of them have got a template. This one's just got those pins uh, around the side here to put them back in. And then this last layer now on and then just you don't have to put loads and loads just enough to get that really well lubricated and then finally the last one I'll just put a little bit more on it just feels a little bit dry let's put some more there okay and then over this and then the other side as well okay and what you'll find is this will really help to eliminate that snatch. There's nothing worse when you're playing a fish and uh, suddenly that you get a sudden snatch on the drag where it's not smooth. So just by keeping these standard felt washers oiled and then that clip just goes back in just to hold it back in place. Okay, so let's put it on the reel and just make sure then that it's all nice and smooth. Yeah, straight away. There's no, no snatch, no jerkiness, just because they've been maintained. And like I say, please don't put grease on. Oh, it's a mess. I've had reels come in. We've had reels come into stock that have had grease on the felt washers and the drag just feels awful. Grease is fine on the, on the carbon washers and many of the guys upgrade from the felt to the carbon uh, washers or the ice washers, they call them on these. Um, but really if you keep them well oiled you can keep those felt washers performing performing well um, so when it comes to the drag now that's lovely and smooth just by keeping the washers oiled and what I would do is just tighten up to it and twist it a few times and what you're doing is you're pushing those washers you're squashing them together and the oil then is going deeper onto the parts. So just tighten it up a little bit and twist and turn. And the more you do that, the more the oil is going to work through the felt washers and the plates and just marry up more perfectly. Okay, so now it's getting more and more smoother straight away just by doing that. Okay, so I hope that helps guys. Um, Please do subscribe to the MJL um, Tackle TV channel on YouTube. Please also visit the, the new website, mjltackle.co.uk. Um, we buy and we sell the best secondhand tackle. If you've enjoyed this review, please do like it or comment. Perhaps you've got some ideas or experiences that you could help um, just put uh, in front of people so we can all learn together. And don't forget, we're also on social media. So you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram. It'd be great to get some of your feedback. But I hope this helps um, look after the, the drag on these fantastic old Tegra 14,000 XTD reels. Um, yeah, just keep them well maintained and, uh, and tight lines.